In this episode of Sudoku Primer, we're going to solve a puzzle from Dell Original Sudoku, November 2020. Puzzle number 243. This puzzle has a challenger skill level. Subscriber Dwayne Rayburn requested that I look at the, some Dell magazines, and therefore I decided to do a video on this puzzle. I like the puzzle because there are some places where we need a combination of techniques to find numbers. The puzzle is fairly tricky, but using the right techniques we can get through it pretty well. Uh, the puzzles and or techniques and patterns that I talk about, you can read up on them at sudokuprimer.com if you want to learn more about them. If you like these videos, click like and click the red subscribe button. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. All right, well, we got a two here already because that one's really easy. We got a two here, two here, two here. So we know that's a two. And uh, I want, also want to point out uh, three sets of twins I found right off. We have a 1-5 in row 2 here and a 1-5 in column 3, so these are 1-5 twins right here. We also have a 3-7 here, a 3-7 here, so we have 3-7 twins there. And we've got a 1-5 in column 8 and a 1-5 in row 4, so we know these are 1-5 twins. So 1-5 twins, 3-7 three, uh, three twins, and one five twins. Okay. Now I know this is a one right here. And that's because we've got a one here. We have the three seven twins here. So that constrains the one to row nine in box eight. And that constrains the one to here or here in box nine. But I know it's here because of the one five twins here that we found. So I'll put that one in. Now we've got a three right here. Now let me show you how I found that. First of all, we've got a three here and a three ghost threes here. We've got a 3 here and a 3 here, so we have ghost 3's here, so the 3 in box 5 has to be one of these two locations. The 3, and then we have the 3, 7 twins here. We use double column elimination here to, to constrain the 3's to this column in box 2. And we have a 3 here and a 3 here, so we have ghost 3's right here, so we know that can't be a 3. So the 3 goes right there. Now we've got an 8 in box 9, uh, and it goes right here because we've got an 8 here and 8 here, so ghost 8's here, and 8 here, so we know that's an 8 right there. We've also got an 8 in box 5, and that is right here. It can go here or here. But with this 8 right here, and uh, because of the 1-5 twins we know here, we've got a hidden T pattern in box 6 right here. So um, with this hidden T pattern and the 8 in the middle column, we know that the 8 is constrained to one of these two cells right here. So that can't be an 8. So we've got 8, 8, 8. Ghost 8's here. Oops, ghost eight's here, and so we know that's an eight. All right, and with that eight, we've got a right angle pattern here in the in box four, with an eight here and an eight here. We know that's an eight right there. And with these two eights, we know that this is an eight right here. All right, now, um, 
we've we turned this right angle pattern into a corner pattern by putting this 8 in and there's a 4 and a 9 in row 6 here so we know these are 4 9 twins which we can't solve yet but because these 4 9 twins we know these are these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 and 7 right here and we can solve them we got a 1 and a 2 there so that's a 7 we got a 2 here so that's a 1 and that's a 2 all right now with these ones right here we can solve our 1 5 twins because we know that that can't be a 1 anymore so we got 1 5 the 1 5 twins that we found and remember we have 3 7 twins here 1 5 twins here still all right now we have three, four, five, six, seven, four, seven, and nine left here. And we've got seven and seven there, so we know that's a seven. And therefore, this is a four and this is a nine. Right, let's jump down to box seven here. We've got uh, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four and nine here. So that leaves five and six here. We can solve them because of that five. All right. Now we have four nine twins here. Let's see what we're missing here in row nine. One, four, five, six one four five six nine so we got four nine here one four five nine one five six nine here we've got one four five six nine and here we've got one one four six nine so we have four nine and four six here. So we have four nine twins right here and right here. That leaves a six that goes right here. Because we just had four, six, and nine missing in box nine. We had nine there and four nines here. So, so we know that's a six. All right, now, using double row elimination, we've got a four here and a four here, so one of these is a four. But these are four nine twins, and these are four nine twins. So we know the four, a four and a nine goes here. Well, we also know that, uh, let's see, what are we missing? One, two, three, four, six, four, six, and nine here. Okay, so we've got a four in the middle and six nine and the other two cells all right now let's look at row one right here and see what we've, we're missing here we're missing one six seven nine one six seven and nine in row one here we've got a one six and nine so we know that's a seven All right, and now we're missing one, six, and nine. So here's a one and a six, so we know that's a nine. And there's a six, so we can put the one there and the six there. All right, now with this nine, we can solve the four nines here and the four nines here. All right, now we have the, remember the six nine twins we found there, there's a six there now. So we can solve those. And we're only missing one and five here, and these are the three seven twins we found earlier. And we can solve the one five twins right now with that one right there. 
can't really solve the three seven twins yet. All right, now we've got a a four here. We've got a loner cell right here. And one two nine four one two nine. So the four is the only number that isn't in here yet. So we know that's a four. All right, now what are we missing here? Three, six, eight. Three, six, and eight. There's a six and an eight, so that's a three right there. There's a six, so we know that's an eight, and that's a six. All right. Now we have, uh, we're only missing one, two, three, four, five, seven. Five and seven there. There's a five there, so we can solve those. And with that seven, now we can solve our three sevens that we found at the beginning. Here we're only missing two, two and nine, so we can put those in. All right. Now let's see, we're missing seven and nine here, which we can solve in, in column six there. All right, now we're missing one, two, three, five, two, three, and five, three and five there, so two, five, three, We're only missing the four nine twins here in box four, and we've got a nine there now, so we can finish those. All right, now we're missing, let's see, one five here, which we can solve. Three, four, and eight here. Three, four, so that's an eight. Four, three, and a two goes there. All right. So that's it for that one. Using a combination of patterns and techniques, sometimes we needed two or three different patterns and techniques in order to find one number, but it made this challenger puzzle pretty easy, pretty easy to solve. Well, thank you for watching, and thank you um, for all of your great comments. I appreciate them. I enjoy reading your comments and uh, and I hope that these videos are helping you and uh, I'll see you on the next one.